In this video, we will be using the TI Inspire to run the even and odd test for us to check whether a particular function is even, odd, or neither. My students are expected to do this algebraically, but the calculator can be a check. So we could enter it into the graph um, scratch pad here, but the best thing to do is make a new document. Usually that's better because we can add pages to the document and do more with it. So I'm going to choose a new document. I'm going to start with a graph, so I'm going to add a graph here. Once I do that, my f of x is there. If it's not there, I can just hit the tab key and that'll bring it up or close it uh, depending on what I want to do. So in my f1 of x, so the first function, function 1, I'm going to put the problem that I want to check. So for example, in, in this first one, we'll use x to the fourth and minus x squared. So we'll enter the function that we want to test. Okay, then, so that's in the original in, in f of x there the first function. I'll hit enter and it'll graph it. So I can hit tab, always hit tab and that'll bring, drop this down so you can put your functions in. So if I arrow up, I'll see my f, my first function, my f1 function, my f2 function. Uh, to get to that, I arrow down and I can enter in here the even test. I could put the odd test here. I'm choosing to put the even test. So the even test says that f of x should be the same as f of negative x. So I can actually enter that here. So to access my function 1, I can hit the variable key, the var key. It's right above 9. And I see this option here. So I hit enter. That's the one I want, my function 1 that I've already entered. And as the input, I'm going to put a negative x. Why? Because f of x is supposed to be the same as negative f of negative x if it is an even function. So that is actually the even test typed in. I'll hit enter and you notice the graphs actually match here. So I can already tell it's even, but the table is a better check because the graph can be off a little. Now I put in the even test and I want to put in the odd, odd test. So I will hit the tab key and F2 and function 2 have the even test, so now the odd test. So put that in. That is that says that f of x should be the same as negative f of negative x. So put in a negative, var key, choose the function 1 because that's where my original function was of negative x. So I've just entered in the odd test there. Hit enter and it'll graph it. So as I mentioned, the best way to check, the clearest way to check is in the table. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to add a spreadsheet so we can list all the functions and, and clearly see it. We could hit control T here. Control T brings up the table, but you can see the issue is we can't fit them all on there. So I'm going to turn that off, control T, and we're going to add a page to this document. This page, 1.1, is a graph. If I want to add a page, control doc, you see plus page right there. That's how we access it, control doc. And I want to list and spreadsheet. So I'm going to choose option 4 here and add that. Once I do that, I can hit control T because I want a table, control T, and I can just choose any function I want. I'm going to choose my original function. Once I do that, it allows me to have these little drop downs here. I can drop that down, choose F2, function 2, which was the even test if you recall. F3, function 3 was the odd test and you can see it here. Here's the even test. Here's the odd test. And I notice that the f of x, the original function here in column 1, matches column 2, which is the even test. Therefore, I've uh, shown proof that it is even. Notice it doesn't match the odd test. The nice thing about setting it up this way is once I enter in function 2 and function 3, once I enter the even and odd test, I can just go back hit tab, go back to my graph, go up to the function one, and I can start putting in another one to test. So this next one, we'll use this function. We'll use x squared minus 2x. All right, hit enter. I'm going back to my 
um, list and spreadsheet here. Here's my original, negative one. We have a three here as the output for the even test, so it's not even, and a negative three here, so it's not odd either, so this one would be neither. So it's quick and easy once you enter your function one, uh, pardon me, your even test in function two, your odd test in function three, we can test quickly. So I can go back, hit the tab key, go up to my function one, put in the next one that I want to check to see if I did it correctly. So the next one we're going to put in this one, uh, it's a uh, rational. So I'm gonna put, use the fraction button, the symbol button right here gives me that fraction option, makes it easy. I'm gonna put in X in the numerator and I'm going to put in X squared minus one in the denominator, X squared minus one, hit enter. Okay, a lot going on on the graph. It's a little hard to see, so that table is always easier. So we have undefined there uh, when x is 1. So let's look down here. These are matching. f1 is matching function 3, so that means it is odd. So the original f of x function is matching the negative f of negative x, which is the odd test. Therefore, I could say I've checked it. It is odd. So the graph, you can check, but it's a little hard to see. It's a little crazy uh, picture here, so it's hard to tell which is which. But the table is always there for you. So start with a new document, enter your original function in the function one location, and then put in the even test in the function two and the odd test in function three, and then you can quickly check. Add that second page. Uh, use the list and spreadsheet option, put those tables in, and you can quickly check. All right, I hope this video helps with testing for even and odd with the TI-Inspire.